sometimes there are uh, instances where you would want to cut apart a pattern and there really isn't a clear area or a clear way to determine exactly how to do that. So what we've done today is create a design that's very simple uh, that you can download for free from my website, thebabiesbooty.com. And the design is free of charge in our store to download and put into So What Pro to follow along with this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's go ahead and get right into So What Pro, upload the design, and I'll show you just how easy it is to detail split apart a pattern. We have Sew Up Pro open. Now let's navigate to the file that we want to edit. You want to come here to File and Open, or you can just click the yellow manila folder right here on the toolbar and it will open up your dialog box where you would navigate to the file that you're looking for to edit. So the file that I want is here on the desktop, but it's in a folder. So what we're going to do is go here to one color balloons. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to grab the first design here or the second one rather, and we'll open this. And as you'll see, it was digitized as a four by four design with three different balloons and three strings. And notice, there's only one color stop for the entire design. So this design will stitch out all of all of it without even stopping and we don't want that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel and zoom in so that you can clearly see the three different balloons and how they're overlapped. So when it was digitized, it was digitized to overlap here uh, to make sure that there are no gaps between the balloons. But in this instance, the balloons are dark blue and I will go ahead and change the color to a little bit lighter blue to make it a little easier to see. And we're going to separate the strings from these balloons first, okay? So in my prior tutorial, I showed you how to cut apart a pattern by drawing and clicking a box around it, but that's not going to work in this case. Because if we were to open the cutting toolbar and draw points around the strings and then try and cut the pattern here, well, that's not going to work because it's going to actually split the balloons. And that's definitely not what we want. So let's take that away and I'll show you exactly what to do. Now, this one is going to take a little bit more strategy and a little bit more time to get this pattern pulled apart. So the first thing you want to determine is how does this design stitch out? So up here in the upper right hand corner of your embroidery editing program so what pro you'll see sew and show right here now this will actually stitch out the embroidery design right here live on the screen to show you exactly how it will stitch out on your machine now over here it says stitches per second we have 10 i'm going to actually bump that up to 100 because we don't want to take forever for this thing to stitch out to show you uh how it looks so actually I went ahead and took it up to 300 and what we're going to do is go ahead and start the sew show. So let's click our play button and as you see it starts with the balloon on the left. Then it goes to the balloon on the right. Then it stitches out the balloon in the middle. And then it goes to our strings. So that's important to know for this type of cutting an embroidery design pattern. So with this one, what we're going to do is actually follow our stitch points. So I'm going to take my zoom factor. So if you come all the way down in the middle and notice down here, it says zoom and I'm at 230%. Now, yes, you can scroll in with your mouse wheel 
and you see it does move the bar back and forth down there but it's a little faster if I just grab this black bar and drag it across <laughs> so now that we've done that wow take a look at all of these stitch points which each one of these boxes is where the embroidery needle comes down into the fabric and stitches a stitch how cool is that right so we know based on watching the stitch out that the string starts over here on this balloon so how do i separate the string from the balloon let's go to our cutting toolbar and we're going to open that and now i don't want to cut the pattern but i do want to split at stitch so i'm going to click here and now we want to select a point these are our stitch points now I'm not sure which one of these is the right one so I'm going to show you exactly what you can do to figure out how to get to where your string begins because that's where we want to split this embroidery pattern so I'm going to click on one of the easiest boxes to get to See all of this jumbo up in here, somewhere in there is where the string actually starts. But I'm not sure which one of these points that would be. So we're gonna go with an easier target and click one of these points down here. So I'm gonna start with this one because it's the closest to the balloon. And another thing that helps is look at your total stitches, which is in the upper right hand corner, 5,136 stitches, okay? And if you look down here at the stitch point that we clicked on, it's stitch number 4,929, all right? So that lets us know that it's close to the end of the pattern. So we picked a pretty good stitch point to make sure that we're going to grab this string. Now, I want to go back to where the string begins and that's on your keyboard. So your up arrow and your down arrow will actually move you stitch points. So 4931, click the up, I mean, push the up arrow, 4932, push the up arrow, 4933, so on and so forth. But I don't want to go forward because that's gonna take me to the end of the embroidery design. I want to go backwards. So let's press the down arrow and we're gonna go backwards. So 29, 28, 27, 26, and I'm going to click a little bit faster, 20. And now we see 18 popped up over here. So you do have to pay attention. When it disappears over here, then you're pretty much over at the other part of the pattern where we know the third balloon stopped and then it goes to the string. So 4918 is not the stitch that we want. We want to go to 4920. And that lets us know that this is the first stitch to the strings of our balloons. So we're still open in the cutting toolbar right up here, right? And we selected the point where we want to split our pattern. So now let's click split. Now that you've clicked split, Notice over here in the right hand side, you have two different color stops. So let's see what we've done. Let's come back up to the cutting toolbar and notice now your uh, tabs are grayed out. So let's click close because we're done cutting and we'll close out again. And that also helps make sure that we can zoom in and out faster like we're supposed to. When the cutting toolbar is open, it kind of restricts some of the um, editing qualities that we can do because it's thinking you're still wanting to cut so by closing it out it lets it know that we're done and we're ready to move on to some general editing so now that we've done that we'll take this black zoom in zoom out bar and we're going to zoom out you can either click on the bar or you can click it and drag it over which is not one act right for me so i'm just going to click and notice we still have the exact same pattern here everything's the same color even though we have two colors here so i'm now when you click on one it shows just the balloons and when you click on two it's the strings 
So let's go ahead and change the color of our strings. We're going to make those black. And now you have three blue blooms and three black strings. So that's how you can cut and separate a pattern. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to show you how to take this center balloon and turn it into a different color. Now, if you recall, when we did the sew show, it showed that the left balloon started first, then the right balloon, and then the center balloon stitched out. If you're not sure, it's not a problem. Just click the play button again, and it will show you that it stitched up. Now it stitches down, stitched up. Now it stitches down to the bottom of the balloon, and then it goes to our middle balloon, right? So we're gonna pause that there because we're done. And if you click on number one and number two again, it fills everything back in again. So this balloon here on the right hand side is the one that finishes before it gets to the middle. So what do we need to do? We need to scroll in again. So we're gonna zoom back in super close to these balloons. And I'm going to come up here to the bottom of this balloon because if you recall, it stitched up to do our back field stitches and then it filled in the balloon from the top down. So down in here somewhere is where this balloon finishes. So let us go ahead, open our cutting toolbar and we want to split at stitch. Okay, so now we want to be sure that select point is open now that we have select point selected let's pick a point on the balloon so it filled in from the top down so let's pick this stitch here and hopefully that's the stitch that's close to the field stitch the end of the field stitch on the front of this balloon so i'm going to hit the up arrow and notice that it is filling in and as i'm doing the up arrow 35 36 37 39 there we go so you're following it actually filled in from the top down then it must have stopped and went down some and then filled back up in so sometimes it'll do that that's why it's important to follow that stitch out closely and you can even slow it down to make it easier for you to be sure of how the stitches are actually navigating but three zero seven three is the stitch then seven four seven five seven six seven seven and now it's going over to the middle balloon and when it switches over to the middle balloon now we don't need this to be the same color as the second balloon that stitches out so we're going to go to this last stitch on the second balloon and this is where we're going to split our pattern so 3077 is the stitch number that we want to split and let's click on split so now you have two deep oceans and then our black strings so we'll close out our toolbar hit close again and now we can zoom back out and i'm using the mouse wheel this time see how it's taking a whole lot longer than just coming down here and clicking on that line down at the bottom so now we have our three balloons they're all still the same color so when we click on number one we've got two balloons that are blue and now this one balloon by itself and we can go ahead and change him to green and when you click off now you have a balloon in the middle that's a completely different color so that's how easy it is to split at stitch or to get a detailed split editing of a design in sew up pro sew up pro gives you so many capabilities that are beyond your wildest imaginations that will allow you to manipulate embroidery designs in many ways possible i could have even split stitch uh, after this first balloon and just took off the second balloon 
and then it would have only been these two balloons if I wanted to and just deleted this balloon altogether because look that's an option as well let's click on one and we'll hit delete and now we just have one balloon and some magical floating strings <laughs> So it is a lot of different things that you can do with that particular feature in the cutting toolbar, which is called split at stitch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up to let us know that we were helpful in allowing you to understand how to navigate Sew Up Pro and learn a new feature of Sew Up Pro to help you in your embroidery editing. Also, please consider subscribing. We do put out tutorial videos on Sew Web Pro as well as on a lot of embroidery editing and embroidery projects as well. And on Sundays, we go live and answer our questions or answer any of your embroidery questions rather at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time weekly as our hoop group. So we look forward to having you join us there and hopefully you got what you needed out of this particular video and if you didn't and you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and we will get right back to you so thank you for joining us with this editing session and until the next time we see you we hope you have happy embroidering